During National Science Week, the Museum of Tropical Queensland gave Townsville residents a rare look behind the scenes of its taxidermy department. The preservation of birds and wildlife is done completely by volunteers, and all the birds that have been preserved have been brought to the museum by members of the public. Julia Hazel is a volunteer at the museum and thinks the display was a great opportunity for people to see the work that goes into preserving an animal. The museum does actually a lot of scientific stuff behind the scenes, which much of the public don't have much awareness of. So it's a good opportunity for the museum as well as for the public, I think. Julia said that many of the birds on display had fallen victim to Cyclone Yassi earlier this year. Wampus, several fruit doves like the one Beth was working on, um, that were all sort of secondary victims of the cyclone. So they, they survived the cyclone itself, but they suffered afterwards. To preserve a specimen, volunteers delicately peel back the bird's skin, remove the innards, clean the bones, fill the body with foam, and then sew it back together. Then the volunteers add a few finishing touches to bring the bird back to its natural glory. Yeah, the bird looks a bit scruffy by the time we finish working on it, but tidy it up so that it's sort of clean its feathers for it as best we can, not as well as the bird it did originally, and perch it in a, a realistic position if it's going to be displayed. James Cook University is home to a variety of bird life, including the common bush turkey. But Julia said larger birds are less likely to be donated by the public find a, a freshly dead bush turkey in good condition and you can wrap it up and put it in your freezer until you can bring it in. We'd be quite grateful to receive it, thanks. This is Hayley Renner for JCNN.